earth-shaking revolution in human thought is coming. The impact of the uh, electric universe paradigm is unprecedented. It's probably the biggest uh, paradigm shift in history. I cannot identify uh, a paradigm shifting set of ideas more profound, more fu fundamental, more sweeping in their implications than the electric universe paradigm. The electric universe acknowledges the fact that all matter is electrical in nature and that we can understand far more about the universe, cosmology and ourselves by using this understanding and applying it to a simplification of all of the present physics which involves multiple forces and multiple particles, a complete zoo of particles and uh, a lot of confusion especially with some of the very expensive experiments that have been carried out recently which have produced just more surprises rather than confirmation of previous ideas. The electric force is not limited to a particular scale. We see uh, profound examples of uh, electrical activity up at the macrocosmic level. That means even a larger scale than the galactic space that is being filled with electrical activity as we observe it now. We didn't realize this, but it was predicted by the pioneers of the electric universe that we would find intensely energetic electrical activity at the hearts of galaxies. But the galaxies are not actually the largest scale of electrical activity. And we know that by seeing how galaxies in large clusters are aligned in particular directions. That could not happen by random evolution of the cosmic system from gravity. And all we have to work with as alternatives theoretically or electricity or the electric force and Newtonian gravity. So the electric force wins, that's our bottom line. Each era seems to work with its own mythology that sets the ground rules for what you believe and what you don't believe and science is just another myth, mythology. It's funny because science, of course, is supposed to have separated from religion. It never did. It even took the creation myth with it and added maths to it uh, to suit you know, whatever they wanted to dream up. And so we've ended up with a uh, scientism. You know, it's really nothing to do with uh, real science. The biggest problem is always to let go of the things that everyone else believes and you think if I say anything against it, <laughs> I'm dead. Get over that and just keep going where the evidence leads you. I suddenly realised that to get any further I had to um, discard Einstein's way of looking at things. I had to dump Einstein and go back to the classical way of doing science. It was a necessary step. I had to take that step to take the ones that were just to come, just down a few years later. No one can question him because everything that's ever been done confirms his work. Well, that's, that's so, simply because he removed the standards of measurement of time and uh, distance. So once you've done that and you can choose any arbitrary observer in the universe to match, <laughs> to give you the results you want, Sure, you know, but the, re the fact is that that doesn't actually prove anything uh, because his uh, work is fundamentally, physically meaningless. And Einstein's general theory of relativity is, is riddled with 
contradictions, impossible physics, so-called physics, it's a bit of an oxymoron to say physics, but impossible physics and invalid mathematics. So the, the, there are two things that a, a physical theory must satisfy. It must be logically consistent and it must be in accord with reality or experiment. Well, if it fails on either one, then it doesn't hold. And in the case of Einstein, certainly on, on the question of logic and self-consistency itself, it's false. Belief in the speed of light being a limit. Einstein said that the speed of light was uh, with respect to some arbitrary observer. That can't be so, because then you've got no way of measuring the energy of somebody who's moving with respect to somebody else. It also means that the clock paradox goes away because uh, the clock's rate of ticking depends on its energy, and that depends on its motion with respect to the rest of the universe. So Einstein's uh, inertial frames of reference are not equivalent. They cannot be equivalent. So that destroys special relativity at a, at a stroke. I don't think there's a legacy for Einstein. In so far as relativity is concerned, it's, it will be no legacy from this because it's uh, got nothing to do with reality. And it's a theory that's fundamentally flawed on the grounds of logic itself. So it, it will never hold. <laughs>